Hi, my name is Wiswa. I am a field engineer here at One Energy. And for today's Science Short, we are going to be talking about tension and compression. Tension and compression are forces that are found nearly everywhere in our day-to-day -day lives. To put it simply, tension is the force of pulling apart of an object. Compression is the force of pushing together of an object. Ever played a game of tug of war and felt the intensity of the rope as it is being strained between two teams? Well, that tension is more than just a game. It is a force that plays out everywhere around us. When you pull on a rope from both ends, the force that is exerted on that material is called tension. For example, during one energy's tower rescue training class, I was suspended on the tower during my training. The force of gravity is pulling me downwards and as a result, a force of tension is exerted on the rope from which I am suspended. The balance of forces, gravity pulling downward and tension in the rope pulling upward allows me to remain suspended in the air. To truly grasp the power of tension, I want you to try this. Grab a rubber band and stretch it between your fingers. Feel the resistance? That's tension right there. So what's the physics behind tension? Tension is a result of atoms or molecules being pulled away from each other, elongating the material. In a simplified explanation, the force applied to one end of the material stretches atomic bonds within the material. When a force is applied, these bonds are stretched and the atoms experience separation, thus undergoing deformation. This deformation at an atomic level creates tension throughout the material, resulting in the tension force that counteracts the applied force. It is important to know that materials have different responses to tension based on their mechanical properties. Materials like rubber, for example, exhibit high elasticity and can return to their original shape after tension is released. Every material has the ability to hold up to a certain amount of tension and should the tension forces overcome the material's ability to handle tension, the material snaps. What other materials exhibiting high elasticity can you think of? Now, let's talk about tension's opposite. Compression. Compression is the force of pushing materials together or squeezing something. Wind turbine towers are good examples of compression at play. A turbine's tower is a long cylindrical column that carries the whole weight of the turbine due to compressive strength. The entire structure experiences the force of gravity pulling it downward. This force is the combined weight of all the parts of the turbine like its nacelle, generator and rotor. The weight of the structure then creates a compressive force on the tower walls, bearing the load and transmitting it to the foundation. The foundation below then distributes the weight of the turbine evenly across the ground. So what's the physics behind compression? Compression at the atomic or molecular level involves the application of forces that push atoms or molecules within a material together. When external forces such as gravity act on a material, the atoms in the material move closer together, resulting in compression. This reduction in interatomic distance tends to decrease the volume of the materials while increasing the material's potential energy. Just like tension, it is crucial to know that every material has the ability to hold a certain amount of compression. And should the compressive forces overcome the material's ability to handle compression, the material will undergo deformation, leading to buckling or failure. And there you have it, our tension and compression showdown. Understanding how materials respond to tension and compression is critical in engineering and in designing structures that resent various stresses. Whether it's a rope rescue mission, a wind turbine's tower, a soda can, or even a simple rubber band, tension and compression forces are constantly at work around us. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more science shorts. And remember, challenge everything. Mm -hmm.